Hello and welcome. I am Shadowfax, and this is the June 2019 monthly update audio presentation of Alter Aeon. The first thing of which I'd like to make mention is my recent interview with fellow world builder Morpheus. If you haven't heard it already, a link will be provided in this video's description. As he said in that interview, Morpheus and the Dream Team are currently engaged in re-leveling Redfern's floating palace and its associated areas, and linking quests around Archaeus and from the island to the mainland. They should have those done later this month. Long-term projects include building an additional island for Giannasi and building solo and group 4 areas for the Nightmare Plane. Later this month, we will be conducting our Big League Summertime event, the Summer Solstice Celebration. This will be the seventh such annual event. It will begin on the day of the Summer Solstice, Friday, June 21st, and end on the evening of July 4th. Like last year, the Puzzlewood Forest will return. We will be presenting a solo version with endless experience level mobs, and a group version with wave after wave of mobs of increasing strength, just like last year. We'll be lifting a couple of elements from the 2014 event and the 2016 event for the main story areas, namely the portal dispelling from the former and the point defense of the latter. Players will be presented with instance battleground zones, with specific missions to accomplish for each one. Of great importance is the special effort made by Drak to balance the skills and spells of the various classes. The goal is to even out the amount of practices necessary to gain the critical abilities of each class, giving each class roughly the same number and at regular intervals. In particular, several abilities have been spread out quite a bit to prevent clumping at lower levels. In keeping with this vein, there are no longer any critical abilities beyond level 30, only important, helpful, and obscure ones. The theory is that by level 30, your selection of primary class abilities will be heavily influenced by your choices of secondary and tertiary classes. In addition, some spells and skills that are outdated will be receiving improvements, such as Cure Blindness and Faint. So far, the Mage, Cleric, Warrior, Necromancer, and Druid classes have been updated, with the Thief class soon to follow. In June, we have a number of code updates planned. For example, Druid called animals will eat food they are given. Most will be finicky eaters. So don't try to feed fish to your wolf or berries to your mountain lion. Specialized geology will be added to some zones, making them more likely to yield certain classes of minerals. We will attempt to have random encounters for land up and running for the summer solstice. This is very new and experimental, and if we feel that it's not up to standards, or not sufficiently stable, we will delay turning it on. I've also got a number of coding projects in the works, uh, specifically an update for Soul Steel and buckets of updates for jobs. I'll see how much of that I can get done before the summer event. Drock also reports that the Valley of Sacerdotes, a level 41 zone, is near completion and will be released in a week or two. In Must Z news, in the last few months, Zera has been busy implementing a whole host of new features and sounds, with one set of updates in particular focused on giving players the ability to better customize their audio experience. Sample options include an add-on making it easier for users to mix and share their sound packs, partial matching for adjusting volumes on individual and groups of sounds, a toggle for automatic muting and unmuting when switching between windows, panning, vocal, randomization, and battle music controls, sneaking steps, reduced sound clobber, and more. Zera has also started working on a new short ID module, which will finally let players see the spell level on objects, and will be preparing for Mush Z to be upgraded to the latest version of Mush Client. That concludes this monthly update. I wasn't able to get the artwork done for our new closing card in time to record this video, and I need the new closing card to reflect recent changes to our social sites. For starters, I'm in the process of copying some of our resources and archives for our audio updates from lawful-evil.org to Alter Aeon's Google Drive for easier access. 
We've been backing up much of our social media on our Google Drive for some time now, and you can visit our archive at www.alteraon.com Google. We also back up our social posts to Alter Aeon's Dropbox, and I'll be uploading a bunch of my favorite music that I used to keep on lawfulevil.org into our Dropbox. You can visit our Dropbox at any time using www.alteraeon.com slash Dropbox. The Google ditched the personal and business accounts, but we made a new blog at Blogger to make up for it. You can follow it at alter-aeon.blogspot.com. We're abandoning a number of social sites that we just don't get any traffic from, like Dailymotion and Vimeo, or perhaps that's Vimeo, uh, which, truth be told, hasn't seen any action ever since they enacted that no gameplay footage rule. You may also notice that our YouTube channel is now simply Alter Aeon instead of Alter Aeon Productions, and we've got a new custom address there at youtube.com slash c slash Alter Aeon. Tumblr has been headed down the drain ever since they ditched all the porn, and in all honesty, I lost control of it a couple of years ago. It's been running purely on automation, so I'm just gonna pretend that it doesn't exist going forward. We're making many more other small changes. You can view the entire list of social media sites that we currently support at lawful-evil.org slash social underscore master underscore list dot html if there is any social site that you use and would like to see alter aeon make its presence known on please let me know thanks for listening and happy mudding everybody